high. It's very silent here. Coming to the end of the day, sunset time in North Cornwall. But we're not going to get the pretty sunset. In fact, since we've been here, we haven't had a pretty sunset at all. Which is unusual. Because everyone seeks the light when they come to Cornwall. I'm walking across this field. I'm surrounded by energy. The history of this place. This is Men's Graffa. It's an ancient Neolithic standing stone. Just one in this field. There was probably more. But they've probably been moved. But what's stunning is it's facing, as I'm coming across here, obviously it's facing all the, it's facing as I'm looking across. I think that's probably northwest. You lose your bearings a bit when you come right down to the bottom of Cornwall, particularly when you're inland and on the moors. But we're not far from Madron. And we've just been to a Bronze Age, um, sort of a group of standing stones, but I didn't feel any energy there, men and toll. It was like a fertility stone with a big hole in it. Um, but there was a lot of people around it, and I, I always feel I need, when I'm near the standing stones, um, or any stone, I feel like I have to be there totally on my own, or just that person that you're you're walking with. But I love this light behind, even though it's not a pretty sunset, and I'm glad that I've done this walk up to it. It's about a mile. It's not hard. It's not that hard at all. And it's not hilly. I mean, this whole area is easy to walk. It's, you know, as you get further down, right down to the bottom of Cornwall, everything's pretty flat, really. Absolutely no sun at all. Where has the sun gone? Where has the sunset gone? <laughs> Just over that way is the North Cornish coast and a beautiful place called Zenon. But we decided not to go there today because you need the sun. You need, or you need some sun to see the beautiful um, the coves because they're like mermaid coves apparently. They've just got these stunning colours. Son of Cun Novalis. Yes, there is so much that we don't know. Particularly when you come and find these stones, it's they're very hard to find because they're basically you just got to go on Google Map or put 
in the standing stones, but it's still pretty hard and you've always got to walk from where you've parked up. It's going to be at least a mile or a quarter of a mile, something like that. And sometimes it can be very boggy. But luckily, it's been okay on this route. painting the colours of the moorland here. These earthy browns which I love to create. I shall leave you now and we'll be heading back to where we're staying.